again. It's me and I'm doing my reflection on the reflection, the snap reflection for journal entry three. So here I'm talking about um, Caitlin and her creative way of using the word Gidget, which was initially Lisa Boyes's, um, she, it was written down in addressing Lisa Boyes's dog, Gidget, who's a bulldog. But we were like, okay, what are some other ways we could take this word? And we researched and found um, an actress named Gidget. Was a, and it was a really creative response to handling the word. And I was really impressed with um, Caitlin's way of thinking creatively and outside of the box. And um, so, let's see. And I went and got some materials from thrift stores, such as Canvas and uh, the Barbie for the Barbie Gidget Zombie. And um, and I still haven't been paid back, actually. So it's kind of unfortunate. But uh, sorry about being grump and rambling on and on about it. Because, you know, that went on for a little while. So, sorry about that. It was a little frustrating, but mostly over it. Just hope that they do pay me back. And, um, I'm still wondering, should I be judging this so early on about the student's artwork? Because I feel like Ari just, maybe it's just because he doesn't have a uh, creative artistic talent. And I mean, you know, that's okay. It's just teach his own. And so it's just hard for me to accept that from a student when I like, they have really good words, and I'm expecting them to come up with something really creative, but it's just not as original as I hoped. So I just need to be a little bit more um, understanding and patient with uh, kids who don't have as much creative ability. Um, and I, f I still feel like Griffin's interpretation of the word renaissance into uh, coming up with the idea of it being rejuvenating or... Um, or, what's the word? Uh, just life. And I just think it's really creative what he did. It's kind of like with the zombie Gidget. She just came up with a really original way of how to attack the word zombie. Just like Griffin came up with the word, the way of attacking Renaissance. And Nandita came that day. And I do wish that she had participated more. And put in more input on how um, how she thought I was really doing, or maybe gave me suggestions. Maybe um, I don't. Ha she doesn't have as much experience in teaching as me. I don't know, and so maybe you know, maybe she just didn't know what to say. But I really was hoping to get more um, more out of the students who came and observed me. So that was a little disappointing. Um, and I agree with the professional dress. Um, you know, it's not something that I really like, but, you know, I understand uh, businesses and teaching careers and jobs, they want their employees and teachers to have a professional appearance. And so, like, with a nose ring or a low-cut shirt or hair maybe dyed in crazy bright colors or a mohawk or something, you know, out of the ordinary, it's a little unnerving to parents who are sending their kids to the schools there. So it really depends on what school they go to and where it's located. But I just understand that much better now. And even though I would prefer not to go to a school that has strict rules like that, um, you know, I realize I have to abide by them. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for this. the reflection of reflections on snap journal entry three all right thank you very much bye